This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Puzzle 13. Generalize search by making it into a function, Part 2. Right now, our function just searches for a 5 in a global array called Test Array. We would like to be able to search this. We would like to be able to use this function to search through any array. So we will be adding a parameter to allow us to specify which array it should, should be searched. Do this. Add a parameter to the search function called list. How you add a parameter? I mean, you could write it, which is probably what they're going to do here. So our search function, if you want a parameter, are they showing us? Yeah, you can just write it. Okay, so list, right? I can also, whoops. If you are in this mode, how you add a parameter is you're going to click this arrow. And then I'm going to add list. All right. Instead of test array, the global variable, call your function with each of the arrays provided at the top of the program. Modify the code so it loops over the list. All right. So we don't want to loop through test array now because it won't know. Well, we want to use the parameter, right? So now it's going to loop through whatever thing we put in the function call, whatever argument we use in the function call, that's what it will loop through, and we can check that. So we can change it up easily. So there we are. Um, and now, list, list, yep. I want to call the function, but I want to use no fives, one fives, and test array. So here's my function call. I'm going to start with no fives. I'm going to grab another function call, search, no fives, one five, and I think, and then one more, test array, and oops, I meant search, and then test array is the parameter. So it's what we're, it's the argument. It's what we're going to ask search to search through. Um, Okay, so search should search through test array on the third try, right? And so what this does is it's calling the function. We're saying, hey, computer, run, search. Oh, okay, where is it? Here it is, list. Oh, what's my list going to be? Oh, no fives. Okay, no fives. Okay, flag equals false, done. Loop uh, as long as list. Oh, wait, what's list? List is no fives. Okay, where's no fives? Oh, okay, no fives. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so i is less than six i plus plus each time i'll start at zero and it drops down and says list zero okay what's list list is no fives okay and then what's index zero? Oh, no fives index zero is one is one equal to five nope i'll skip down this console log out false because my flag would still be false hit the bottom of the loop go back to the top and or oh, whoa 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 nope we wouldn't console log yet. We'd hit the bottom of the loop. We'd go back to the top. Now, now I would be one. We would go back to no fives. Three is at one. Three is not equal to five. Hit the bottom, back to the top of our loop, and keep going. And then we're gonna after we do that, we're gonna look at one five and so on. So the first array has five. The second array has a five, and the third array has a five. Right? And the first one's false. So, and then what is this original? Uh, the original is our random array, if we still want to print that. Cool. That's really cool. Let's do it one more time. But da Ooh, false. Oh, yeah, no fives in the random. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going. It's tricky. Yeah, let's keep going. 